Hey everyone, thanks so much for pressing play today. In this video, we are going to discuss the Hermes Kelly Gillies wallet. What it's like, what it holds, how I got it, and how you can get one too. Thank you so much for joining me. I am Gina Miller. I'm a lover of all things Lux, and I enjoy the journey of buying the items just as much as I do carrying them and showcasing them. So this video is going to focus on the latest addition to my wallet collection. It's the Hermes Gillies Kelly Long Wallet in swift leather. I purchased this wallet from Heritage Auctions. I didn't buy it from Hermes.com, from the Hermes Boutique in my market, which is Dallas, Texas. There is an Hermes Boutique in Highland Park Village. It's a great boutique if you haven't been there. Nor did I buy it on the secondary sites, which I love. Fashion File, Rebag, The Real Real, all those sites. If you have a favorite site, please list it down below because I'm always on the hunt for more places to find these luxury designer accessories. I'm always on the hunt to find places that guarantee authenticity when buying those luxury designer accessories. Heritage Auctions, like so many auction houses, do guarantee authenticity. Their authentication process is exhaustive, so you can purchase with confidence when you're buying online from auction houses. This is not a paid video. Um, I do have a relationship with Heritage going back a long way. The founder of Heritage actually set up my mother and my late stepfather, so I do have an affinity for Heritage Auctions, but beyond that, uh, they're not paying me to do this. But um, I found this wallet during their December 2020 luxury accessories auction. So many good things in that particular auction, and this wallet caught my eye. I've been carrying an older Chanel wallet that my mother actually gave me, but I really was in the market for something new um, that held my stuff a little bit better. I think you know that as we you know work our wallets they tend to get kind of stuffed to the gills and my wallet was definitely doing that and it's shown it has shown a lot of signs of wear this is a chanel wallet from the 80s actually that is held up pretty well but it was just time for a new one had my eye on this particular wallet because it was just different and it was unique Ended up not winning the bid at the auction. I bought it through the post-auction buy process, and I'm really pleased with the purchase process and what I paid for it. But without further ado, let me show you what I received. Um, the box, or the wallet, I should say, came in its original box, uh, the beautiful orange iconic Hermes box, and you could tell this wallet itself hadn't been used very much. It, you know, the tissue paper was fully intact. Everything was beautifully packaged. It even, before I show you this, it even had a ribbon in here. Uh, you know, the ribbon was, was attached in here. I will say this wallet is from 2016 and this is a 2020 ribbon, so whatever that means. But um, I was excited to get a new ribbon and who knew the theme for 2020 was innovation in the making. Not quite sure, you know, <laughs> I had as innovative a year as, <laughs> as I would have liked in 2020. Certainly some people did um, as we all battled and fought through the coronavirus pandemic. So this particular wallet came packaged just like that. This wallet came listed as a condition two. Condition one is the best like new condition. Condition two means it has minimal signs of wear and tear. And you'll see why the reserve price on this was pretty low and perhaps why it didn't sell originally. And I was able to pick it up with a post auction buy. It's got this tiny, not so tiny, but nickel sized oil stain on it. Oil is what they're calling it. It could be from lotion, it could be from a serum, it could be from olive oil from a restaurant. You know, use olive oil to dip your bread into when you're eating at some Italian restaurants. Maybe that's what this was, I don't know. Didn't bother me too much. Um, you see, it's about the size of a nickel, but beyond this, this particular wallet is in pristine condition. It's in swift leather, in the Rouge Garance color with gold hardware. Just beautiful. It comes with the Gillies detailing. That's yeah, just um, an enhancement that Hermes has made to some of its Birkins, some of its Kelly bags, and some of its wallets. 
as well. This is in the long size, meaning it's eight and a half inches long, four, excuse me, not eight and a half, eight inches long. I actually have a ruler here. I can share that with you. You can see it's eight inches long by four and a half inches high and about one inch, if you will, give or take, about one inch thick. The color is Rouge Garance. I would say this is sort of a, a dark burgundy, a burgundy color, really deep, really rich, and I think it just pairs up beautifully with the gold hardware. It has the classic Kelly turn lock that's so iconic. Then you open it, and again, more of the beautiful gold hardware. Here as well. Then you open it and the interior is actually a different leather. The Swift leather, which is what the exterior is, the Swift leather is a cow's leather. The interior is a goatskin leather, chevre. And the interior is what they're calling Rouge Grenet chevre leather or a goatskin leather. It's a little bit of a darker color on the inside. And you can see the inside has the beautiful detail it's a great wallet. Um, opens up very nicely. Six card slots on each side. There's one, two, three, one, two, three, and then three card slots on either side here. It also has a holder for your money or any other things. One long slat pocket that runs the length of the wallet on one side and another slat pocket that runs the length of the wallet on the other side. It also has the traditional zipper lock or zipper closure in the middle where you can store your money. And I've got some change in there. I was really impressed with this because the zipper is, is so brand new that it still runs kind of, kind of tough, if you will. It's not an easy glide yet, um, but it works just fine. And then it's got a little bit of a tassel feature right here on the um, on the zipper. Great little wallet, so cute. It's a, it's a wallet of size. It's not some little wallet that you are going to uh, put in a bag for a night out. It's so substantial that you can almost carry it as a clutch. This is absolutely big enough for you to fit, you know, some lip gloss, maybe a little makeup brush in here. Um, you know, it might be hard to fit an iPhone or something of that size in here, but um, you could certainly just carry it as a clutch and run around with because it does have some, have some substance to it. And it's a way to get, you know, everything you need, all your basics, all your essentials in a nice little clutch size. So how does it fit with all the other stuff that you have, given that this is such a, a substantially sized wallet itself? So I have my, what am I, I should say, running around bags. It's an Hermes uh, third generation Evelyn in the PM size, 29 centimeter. I love this bag. I'll link to the review of this bag and the unboxing video. I purchased this brand new online at Hermes.com. So how does it fit? Uh, this currently has in it my, my keychain which I put in the outer exterior pocket. It also has in here my agenda, which I have in here. Uh, my little Louis Vuitton mini pochette, which I use just as sort of a, a catch-all for mints, lipstick, that sort of a thing. I would also typically have my iPhone, but I'm using my iPhone to shoot this. Haven't, haven't upgraded to a DSLR yet. But this fits in, you can see right here, fits in just fine. You can see it, and it's, and it's kind of nice. I actually like the pop of color in the bag against all the black uh, in this particular Evelyn bag because it does tend to be a little bit of a black hole, which I don't mind, but you can see in there, everything is very clear and easy to access and it fits in there just fine. So let's talk money. We know that the Kelly products tend to be very pricey. Uh, as recently as January 2021, Kelly Long Wallets were starting at around $3,550. Uh, 
at Hermes.com or at the Hermes boutiques. This particular wallet, again, purchased online at Heritage Auctions in their December 2020 auction. I paid $1,800 for this wallet with the buyer's premium, actually paid $1,440 for it with the 25% buyer's premium. That brought the total up to $1,800. That was my final post-auction bid amount, the most I was willing to pay. Because I live in Texas, I did have to pay eight and a quarter percent sales tax, which brought my total up to $1,948.50 with tax. So for me, it's a purchase I was thrilled to get, thrilled to find, and a wallet I'm so excited to have in my handbag and accessories collection. What do you think? Do you like this? Do you like the Gillies detail? What about the opening and closing of the Kelly Turnlock with the Sangles every time you open the wallet. Is that annoying or is that something that you appreciate when it comes to Hermes and its craftsmanship? So far, I appreciate it. We'll see if it stays that way over time. But let me know what you think about this down below in the comment section. Have you ever purchased anything at an auction? I would love to know that as well. It's interesting. You're finding so many of these legendary and iconic auction houses are now dabbling in the luxury accessories uh, vertical, which I think is very interesting and very smart because we do know what an investment piece items, maybe not so much like this, but certainly what an investment a Kelly bag or a Birkin bag could be or a limited edition Louis Vuitton bag can be, a Chanel bag. We know that those can do very well on the secondary markets. That'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If there's something else you would like to see me do here on my YouTube channel, please let me know down below in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down and let me know why. I love good, candid, critical feedback. To that end, uh, if you do wanna become part of the family, please hit the subscribe button, notifications bell, you know what to do. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and I look forward to chatting with you again very soon. Hey everyone, thanks so much for putting this, three, two, one.